Hey y'all, it's the cute coffee gal here, back with another episode of my Decades Challenge. This is part six of the Decades Challenge, and I did play a couple of days off screen. Um, last episode, if you'll remember, uh, we had our grandmother Esther, who had several uh, brushes with death. And then as soon as I stopped recording last time, the Grim Reaper came again for her, and I just went ahead and let him take her, you know, it's... It's rare that you can cheat death, and she did it twice, and so I figured that meant that it was just, it was her time. So, uh, Esther is no longer with us, um, but we do have our sweet little new one, uh, William, the new baby, and he just, uh, as I was getting started today, he just aged up. So I will show him to you. This is our little William here who is toddling around. He is just now learning how to walk, so he is not too sure on his feet yet. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is little William. He has his mama's hair, and he looks just like his daddy, too. They've all got that same jaw that their dad's got, so um, pretty darn cute. Uh, where are you going, little buddy? Where are you, William? <laughs> And then we also, one other bit of news, um, as I started up the game this time, it looks like Clara is expecting again, so <laughs> it is just, um, that's just the way of the world, I suppose. Um, this is, you know, it's the 1890s, and they live on a farm, a big farm family would definitely be something uh, that they would have. Um, and then in addition, you know, not to be too gruesome, but on our side of things, uh, we are uh, going to be having World War I coming up in uh, several years, so it'll be a good thing for us to have a lot of children, um, especially male children, because we don't know if um, we're, you know, hoping Robert will survive the war and that he'll be able to be our heir, but it's good to have backups because you never know, um, <laughs> which, you know, that sounds a little bit morbid, but it's what it is. So... But these are our little guys, and we also got the notification that today is going to be Rose and Robert's birthday. So we're going to have our children age up for the first time, um, and that will be really exciting for us. So lots going on this particular uh, episode. Let's go ahead. We'll have him repair that when he can. And then I think we need to, one of the things we're going to need to do is um, we're going to need to get the bedrooms ready. So... We do have, let's go ahead and sell that to a collector. We do have, this is uh, Grand, Grandma Esther's bedroom, um, which obviously she's not needing anymore. So I was thinking I might turn this into uh, a bedroom for the kids, for the twins. We do have, upstairs are some more bedrooms, um, but I thought that maybe we would wait to use those. It will be helpful to have this other bathroom though, as we start having um, more Sims that can take baths for themselves. But I thought maybe we could make this be the twins' bedroom, and this will keep as the toddler bedroom. And then um, once William ages up into a child, we can then, um, actually we'll give Rose her own room at that time, and then this can become the boys' room. So that kind of made sense in my head. So, um, yeah, see here we're going to celebrate their birthday by throwing a rockin' birthday party. We may not throw a rockin' birthday party. We might just have a little cake, but that's okay. What is the field doing today? Oop, looks like we've got some apples. Yay, we can can things with apples. Excellent. So we'll have him harvest everything, and then it looks like we really need to get the farmhands over here. We did find, um, when I was playing off camera, um, I did find some pears, so we'll have some pear trees now. And actually, those were just baby sprouts the last time I checked, so let me, let me tidy this up a little bit, because... I'd love it if we had like some nice rows. Okay, I think that will work for now. I've just kind of got everything lined up, um, but ideally we'll have more trees and so we'll be able to start going back soon. Um, so yeah, we'll just have him come and harvest everything once he's checked the mail. And was there anything in there? No. He's collected no. everything from the mailbox. Let's see. We have an action figure, not really uh, appropriate for the time, so I'll hop in and, and we'll buy a toy so that William's got a little something to play with. And I do have, this is um, Samuel's inventory, you do see I have Esther's urn here. Um, I didn't know, I wasn't sure if we should um, create like a little cemetery on the farm, 
So you can see we've got tons of land. So if we wanted to like tuck a little cemetery back in one of these corners, we could totally do that um, and create a cemetery here. Um, or the other option is, if y'all will recall from a few episodes back, we went to the little church that they've got in town and there's a cemetery there. So I could put Esther in the cemetery at the church or we could start a little family cemetery plot. Um, I, there are pros and cons to both of those things. Um, and at the moment, I haven't like released her spirit or anything, so she could come back as a ghost. Um, and that's something else I wondered, you know, did y'all want that to happen or would it be better for us just to go ahead and release her spirit? So y'all let me know in the comments down below uh, what we should do with Esther. Should we put her grave here or at the church? And then should we release her as a ghost? So just a couple of things for us to be thinking about. And let's go ahead and sell some of this stuff. It's one of those things like it's hard to get a farm started just because it's a lot of work. But as you can see, like once you get it going, it makes so much money for the Sims, um, which is amazing. So definitely worth the effort. Um, you just got to be patient and let things grow. So since everything is good and taken care of, it doesn't look like we've got any sparklies. So I'm going to go ahead and call the farm hands over and that way they can come and take care of some stuff. And then let's see what he needs. He's hungry, but he also needs some fun. Um, have him, have him play some chess. How about that? Oh my goodness. And we've got like messes all over the place. We've got dirty dishes. I see something stinking over in the corner here. The floor is a disaster. Ugh. So much going on. Okay. Well, and we also have um, Clara. Let me actually, I want to, oh, we've got another one right there. Um, I want to have him clean that up when he has a sec. I think he can clean this one up too. Um, I want to switch these apples out of his inventory into her inventory because I want to call the women's auxiliary and have them do some canning while, um, while we've got some apples. So that should be fun. And how is she doing here? We've got, she's a little hungry and she's a little tired. That's okay. Um, I also need her to make a cake, so let's see. Oh my good gosh, you guys! They're so cute. I love it! And he's gonna hug him back. I think, maybe. Oh wait, I'm clicking on the wrong one. That would explain it. Yep, he's gonna hug him back. So... <laughs> Oh, they're so cute. I love it. Okay. So, is the cake done? It is. Oh, and there it is right there. Excellent. I think having it on the table is a good idea. That sounds good. We'll go ahead and leave it there. And then I'm going to, let's wake Rose up. And I'm going to have Samuel add some birthday candles for us. I think. Perhaps. Oh no! Did he just take a piece of cake? <gasps> no! Ugh. I wish there was a way to somehow make this not happen in The Sims. It drives me bonkers. She's gonna have to bake a whole new cake now. So annoying. Ugh. Okay, we're just like gonna throw this one away. No, farmhand, you don't get any cake. Go away. Excellent. Alright. So, let's have him um help blow out candles i think rose was born first so we'll go ahead and we'll do her oh sorry about that guys i have a new um I, I changed the way that my mic is set up and so i keep accidentally hitting it with my headphones so i apologize if you hear that noise um <laughs> oh my gosh look at her she's so stinking cute she's so stinking cute she is smelly. The first thing she does when she gets her own autonomy is she's going to <laughs> take a bath. And she has aged up. So um, let me actually um, hold on a second. I, I know that we don't have to do um, the random generator for their traits based on this challenge. But then I got to thinking about it and I realized that 
I didn't have any other better way to create which traits they were. So I found one online. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to use it though, because I kind of think I have to know the traits of the parents. And I should have looked at that before we got onto this screen. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we have to put the parents' traits in first. So that's okay. We'll just go ahead and we'll fix something. Um, and actually, we do have some rules for the challenge for girls. Um, daughters must have creative as their first trait. So we're going to throw that on there. And then what are we going to make? Hmm. What should her aspiration be? I kind of want to make it be mental. Yeah, let's go with that. So that works. Oof, we're just, we, we did not do a very good job with uh, getting their skills up. That's something I'll need to be more mindful of as we move forward, because that's pretty, that's pretty sad. Um, <laughs> and I bet Robert's not much better. So there we go. And what does she look like here? What does she look like? Oh, she looks really sad, but she's got those gorgeous eyes there. Um, I'm gonna have him add that. Are they hungry? Yeah, they're hungry. That's okay. We've got cake soon, guys. Just give us a moment. All right. Looks like Esther sent her a birthday present. That's lovely. So let's have him um, help blow out candles for Robert. Oh, Robert's asleep too. Let's wake him up. I love how Clara is just like totally sleeping through all of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> so cute. All right, and what's he gonna look like? All right, and he. I so see. Yeah, he's just as bad. Um, but we don't have any trait requirements for the boys, right? Yeah. Um. Cool. All right. So let's have him. He was silly. I think silly could be, let's do social. That makes sense. And for his trait, we'll make him, hmm. I kind of want to make him loves the outdoors because I know that his daddy has that trait. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay. Ooh, and he's got curly hair. Look at that. That's different. And he's thinking about heartbreak. <laughs> How strange. Okay, sure, why not? All right. Oh, there's another mess out here. Goodness, guys. Y'all are just like driving me crazy. All right, you guys. So what I've got here is little Rose. I've got a cute little everyday outfit for her. And I did think, you know, this is a really cute dress, period appropriate. But also period appropriate would be the tights. So, um... A lady would never have her legs uncovered. Um, <laughs> and then we've got this really little party dress. This actually is uh, the dress that she automatically generated uh, when she aged up for her everyday wear. So I just went ahead and kept the same color and let that be her, her formal wear. Then we've got um, some active wear for her. I think this is probably meant to be a boy's outfit, but I think... She grew up on a farm, so I think that running around playing on the farm, this is totally appropriate for what she would wear. Then we've got her sleepwear, um, this lovely kind of long nightgown for her. And then her party wear is this other uh, more formal dress that I've got. Um, again, a lot of this is CC just so we could have the uh, period appropriate wear. And then for her swimwear, um, had a little bit of trouble with this. Um, this is actually, this little pair of shorts is part of a two-piece set that I downloaded that is appropriate. And for some reason, I am not able to get the top on her. Um, I it was able to get this same outfit on her brother for his swimwear. But when I go into the tops, it's just not, it's not showing up in here. So um, I put a little tank on her, which is not what I had in mind, but... It will get the job done. So anyway, that's Rose. And then we've got Robert. I did go ahead. I changed his hair just to make it a little bit longer um, because that was how he was as a baby. He had longer hair. But this is his everyday wear. And again, they grew up on a farm. And I figure he probably will have a very difficult time keeping his shoes on. So, <laughs> so for his everyday wear, I didn't put him in any shoes. Um, 
He's got this little snazzy outfit for his formal wear so that he's got something that is uh, a little bit more period appropriate. We've got uh, his play wear, again, no shoes there. His sleep wear, just something real simple. And then for the party wear, little cute bow tie for him. And then his swim wear. So, and this is the little, like I was saying, the little outfit I had, there's a couple of different colors of it. And I had hoped to also get Rose in it, but that's okay. He looks pretty darn cute, so. And then while we're in here, I might as well show you what I put William in. So this is William's little everyday outfit. Little cutie pie that he is. And then we've got his formal wear, little sweet pea. And his sleepwear, I figured that he was just going to run around in his diaper. Um, he's the third child. They've got kids now, so they're they're dealing with a lot. Esther's not around to help out anymore, so... He doesn't get night clothes. He just gets his diaper and uh, then his little party outfit. So cute little stuff for our kiddos. So let's go ahead and we'll hop back into the game here and um, kind of fun to get to see what they look like um, now that they've turned out into children. So according to the rules for the decades challenge, um, there are some rules around school, but the really uh, the difference from what you might normally expect is really around um, high school. So elementary school is uh, mandatory for all children. High school is optional. And if they'd go to high school, um, it costs a thousand simoleons because high school had a fee. Um, so we don't need to quite worry about that yet, uh, but just good to know that we'll have that coming up in the future. Let's go ahead and get this playing. And he's gonna crawl back into bed there, it looks like. Where is everybody else? So I think they were both taking a bath, right? They were. Excellent, uh-oh, she's sick. Oh no, I hope that she's not like getting sick. Oh, that would not be good. Okay, well then now we need to get this room updated because it is getting to be bedtime. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna hop into build mode real quick and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, you guys, so we have a small problem and that is that I don't have enough money to buy two beds. Um, <laughs> we're short about $110, I think. So I'm trying to look and see if anybody's got anything in their inventory that we can get rid of. I really don't think that there is. Um, hmm. What else could we... Well, we could get rid of these bassinets because when we have the baby, we'll get another one for free, right? I'm not sure there is. 150! Excellent. Okay, well, we'll just get rid of one. And then... Um, that should get us enough for the other bed. Excellent, okay. Um, how far along is she? Um, third trimester in nine hours, okay. So she's still got a bit more time with that. And then um, the kids are both clean now, which is excellent. When she's hungry, she's gonna come in and eat a little bit of that cake too. And the thing that's kind of crazy is, as you know about The Sims, you're born with homework, so. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have him go ahead and do his. Um, and let's see, I'm gonna have her, yeah, she can eat that. And then we'll have her do homework. And they all are icked out by this room. Oh, the garbage is right there. Let's have dad take the trash out because that is kind of gross. And then the baby needs a bath too, it looks like. Um, and it is so dark in here. I thought, don't they have lights in here? I could have sworn that I had. Yeah, why is this not turning on? Auto lights, all lights. Okay, that's much better. I wonder what that was about. Ugh, those are gross. When you turn the lights on, all of a sudden you see all the dirty things. Um, <laughs> isn't that just the way that it works? Um, so here, let's go ahead. We'll have her clean these things. And then we'll put the rest of that cake in the fridge. Oh, sorry, William, you wanted a piece of cake. Here, we can get it back out. Not a problem. Here, we'll get it right here. And then William, oh, he got a piece. Okay, never mind. Okay, we're good. Put it back in there. And we will put that plate in the sink. So that will hopefully be a little bit better there. Look at those two little cutie pies doing their homework. They are precious. 
I love that. That's so sweet. There we go. With our little munchkin in the corner there eating on his cake. And he is sleepy. All right, so as soon as you get done eating that cake, you're going to come in here and go to bed. And these guys are probably both tired. Yeah, they're both tired too. So when they get done with their homework, we'll send them to bed. And dad is definitely needing the outhouse. So good on him for using that. Um, <laughs> and then he needs to go to bed. And I bet mom is probably tired too. Everybody needs to go to bed. And it is definitely past bedtime. So I will see you guys in the morning. All right, it is morning, and the kids are, like, totally going crazy. We've got Stinky Baby in here crying to his sister because he's so dirty. But she's over here making a huge mess. <laughs> and then uh, Big Brother over here is eating cake. So, um, yeah, that's what's happening in our world right now. Um, I think I'm going to have the mom come parent this one and tell her to stop it. Uh... There we go. She's going to be firm with her now because this child has done this many times since she's been a little kiddo and it needs to stop. And then we're going to have her also give William a bath and we'll let dad actually clean the mess up. Um, oh, we can't because she's doing that. Hold up. Hold up. We're going to have this happen first because... No, where is it? Where is it? We'll force her to clean up the mess. That works. We'll do that. But did that actually get our parenting anything? Because I didn't see... Encourage cleaning up mess. We'll do it that way. That works just fine. And then we'll have her give William a bath. Perfect. And then, how are these kiddos doing? He's still tired. Okay, well, go go to sleep. The bus will be here in a bit, which will pretend like it's like, I don't know, walking to school uphill both ways or something instead of the bus, but <laughs> that's okay. And then, to keep her out of trouble, she's hungry, so let's have her come. And the only thing in here is cake. Oh, no, not pack it into a sack lunch. That's not what I meant to do. Let's have you just eat it. Take a piece. And then after that, we're probably going to toss that cake and we'll make some real food so that we'll actually have something in the fridge for you guys. Um, that will be good. So we'll have her cook. Scrambled eggs with bacon. Yeah, no, you're not going to eat cake. You're going to be as big as a house if you eat that cake. Okay. Oh. Void critters. Those are certainly not something from the 1890s. Um, let's pretend like it's, I don't know, baseball cards. Was baseball? I'm sure baseball had started. Well, but baseball cards probably hadn't. Um, we're just going to pick one. We'll just go with it. Um, <laughs> so that's fine. Um, do we have plates? No, everybody's been cleaning up after themselves. Good for you guys. And the kids are off to school. Excellent. What is wrong? Oh, she's just not very fun. Wake up, kiddo. Time to go to school. And I think I'm going to have her uh, make some friends. And we'll have him do the same. Because we need to meet other kids in this neighborhood. And today's mail has been delivered. So is dad? Yeah, dad slept enough. Let's have him wake up. And we'll have him check the mail and then check on all of the crops, too. It's so funny to me because normally, like, farmers get up before light and, you know, he'd be the first one up. But because it's The Sims, that's not the way that it works. <laughs> He's like, oh, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. Let me get up now. Um, <laughs> and he is needing some fun. Oh, my goodness. Here, come grab a plate. And come eat with your wife. Y'all can sit here and have a, a quiet moment together. Here. William can also grab a plate. Or he is grabbing a plate. And, of course, she's gone already. Oh, well. Um, what was in our mail? We had a toy. That is a triceratops. And a couple of cars. <laughs> 
things that don't exist, so we'll just go to sell them. That works fine. Okay. And we'll have her, um, actually, I think we'll have her call an auxiliary meeting um, so that we'll see what that looks like. And we need to have him come after he's done eating. Oh my goodness, there's so many things that need to be evolved. Actually, I'm going to have her come and help too. I'm going to have her harvest things. And that way, um, that is taken care of. Is he eating? Good. Okay. So we've got all that taken care of. I'm going to have him go ahead and call the farm hands over so they can take care of all of that. Get rid of some of these notifications. What's she doing over here? Thinking about the outhouse. Does that mean she needs to go? Um, <laughs> no, she's just tired. So what all is in her inventory now? She was helping us harvest some stuff. So, this is our canning station that we got before. Let's go ahead and we're going to call the women's auxiliary so that they can go ahead and get together. We have um, Katrina, Brooklyn, Reagan, Holly, and then this was where Esther was. Um, and I actually probably need to go in and make these guys look a bit more period appropriate. They do have a little uniform that they wear so that at least their clothes are kind of sort of better um but anyway so the things that they can do together are they can make preserves they can paint they can bake they can uh, play cards and then they can play chess so we're gonna have clara come in here and i'm gonna show you guys how the canning mod works so it's just like the stove and we can make jam pickles or spreads like we looked at before and since we do have six apples in our inventory we're gonna go ahead and make us some apple jam so that should be fun. We'll come on, get her over here. And you see she's got this really, really big pot that has like all of the jars in it. I don't know if any of you have ever done canning um, for real, like in real life, but this is exactly the way that it works. You have this really, really big pot and you boil the water in it. And then when you put the jars into it, the boiling water is what makes the vacuum seal work so that it actually does preserve the food. So. This is very realistic. Um, I have done some canning myself. And see, and there she's done. So she's got her little jar there. And I don't know where she's going with it. Uh, she's setting it down on the table. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put it over here on the shelf. But what we've got is just this lovely jar of apple jam. And there are a few things you can do with it. You can um, eat it. Like just straight up out of the jar you can eat it. Um, you can eat it with some bread. Uh, you can put it away, which I'm not sure what that is, so I might actually have her do that, and then sell it to an evil corporation, which is hysterical. Um, but we're not going to have her do that. We're probably, what I would like to do is just get a whole bunch of our stuff um, that we've been growing and put it up in cans, and then that way, I wonder if this is going to the fridge. It is. Okay. Um, and, and then we can, like, set up a little stand, like... Um, outside the house a little food stall or whatever and sell the jars that way so um and you have i don't know if you can see it's about to go away here but she has this little moodlet this is my jam um <laughs> from making jam and it looks like she's leaving i wonder if the farm hands are done let's see what's happening over here yeah the farm hands are done so let's go ahead we'll end that gathering um but we'll come back over oh my goodness and she has gone to take a nap in her kiddo's bed so we might want to end this gathering, too. She's that tired. Yeah, let's go ahead. We'll end that gathering. She didn't actually get to talk to any of the ladies. Um, so, oh well. We'll do that next time. But I am going to have her clean that up. And then she looks like she needs a nap because she is very pregnant at this point. Uh, oh, give birth in. Oh, my goodness, you guys. She could go into labor at any time. <laughs> um... I was going to end the part, but maybe I'll hang on just a little bit longer and we'll see if she gives birth. That would be kind of fun. Um, two births in a row. <laughs> um, let's see what happens. So I'm going to have him come over here and we'll sell that. And then how are we doing everywhere else? Okay, we've got random cake made by Ray. Okay, so that was one of the... A cake that was made by the auxiliary, and I bet this was going to be a cake too. Yeah, let's just clean it up. We do not need more cake. Um, baking might not have been a really good idea to have the women's auxiliary do. That might have that might have been a poor choice. 
Oh, and it looks like we've got a couple more things ready to be harvested. Uh, yeah, so we'll have him do that too. So that we've got that taken care of. We've got one more that needs to be evolved. Excellent. And then I think I'm going to have him run to the outhouse and then I might have him go check again on the silly lemon trees from that park in Oasis Springs. The ones that have been taking just forever to actually be ready to be harvested. Um, let's see. This one also needs to be evolved or is it this one? There we go. Well, we've got several things that need to be evolved. Whew, it's hard work keeping all this stuff going in the garden. But like I said, it really does pay off. So how are the kids doing? Because they're home from school now. Like, we totally missed that because we had the gathering. She's over here reading. That's lovely. Let's have her do a little bit of homework. Did we... Did they meet any friends at school? Um, let's see. Yeah, Rose met Max. And Robert met Quentin. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay, that's fine. Um, so maybe we'll have a little play date later on. Um, what does she got going on over here? Oh, from that cold that she was getting, it looks like she's feeling better. Good, because I was kind of worried about that. I don't think we're allowed to use medicine yet, so um, <laughs> uh, that was going to be a pain to deal with if he wound, if she wound up being sick. And he's really tired, but I'm going to actually I'm going to try to get him to do his homework. I bet he won't do it though. I bet he'll be too tired. Um, and that's okay. And it looks like this little one is stinky again. Oh my goodness, I swear. Every time I turn around, this child needs a bath. So let's give William a bath. And we can actually get rid of that plate that will randomly wound up on the mantle. You guys, the lemons were finally ready. Oh my gosh, that took forever. <laughs> so I'm going to come over here and we're going to plant them. So that we can get some lemon trees started. And I know those aren't spaced out very well, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and plant each of these. And then we'll need to kind of think through where else we should travel to to, to get some more different kinds of plants. Um, so that we can continue growing the farm. And and then what's this little guy up to? He's playing with his ducky. So cute. I love these little animations that pop up when they're playing. Um, that's just like a really neat little thing that the Sims team has added in for us. Um, I love it when they have little, little stuff like that, you know? Um, I'm going to have her come on in here and go to sleep. Um, but I have a feeling she may wake up in the middle of the night in labor. All right, so it is uh, five o'clock in the morning. This one just woke up, and what does she do? She goes and makes a mess. I swear, this is... We need to, like, for real parent her on this one. Um, discipline. Firm didn't work last time. Let's try strict. I hate to yell at her kid, but she's not listening to us. So um, that might be the only recourse that we have. Let's... I mean, that's what happens. No, she's making the mess right here in front of mom. Look at her go. That is just ridiculous. No. Um, we're gonna teach. We're gonna make her clean it up. Forced to clean up mess. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then she needs to do it. No, she already did her homework. All right, she's gone into labor. It has happened, you guys. And she's woken back up again. No, don't, don't. Here. Let's come over here. Let's make it happen. Is this like a familiar position, you guys? I mean, I feel like we come over to this little corner every single time. Oh, and I don't even have baby names ready because I didn't realize she was pregnant until I started the game back up again today. <laughs> Let me, um, let's see what we're going to have, and then I'll go to our list and figure out. It's a boy. It's another boy. Oh, that's so sweet, you guys. All right, give me a second here. All right, you guys, so we've got a few different options. Um, 
I'm going to read off. I found, you know, like the little list on Wikipedia I've been working off of the top 10 names uh, that we have not used so far because we do have several names that we've used. Um, John, George, Joseph, Charles, Frank, Harry, and Edward. I think I'm going to go with Joseph. No, Joseph Johnson. I don't want a J name. I want, let's do Charles. Charles Johnson. Um, that'll work. Okay. Great. We've got Charles now. Look at him. Yay. And we're back to having another baby. Oh my goodness. Poor Clara. Like, she's probably so worn out. <laughs> Let's go ahead and give him a little feed there. Oh, he's checking out his little brother. Yay. Coming to see what's going on. Stop thinking about TV. You don't know it exists. There we go. Okay. So, he's also super tired. So maybe I'm going to have him just come in here and go to sleep for a bit. But that is going to be it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my Decades Challenge. Um, this was a very exciting episode. I did not realize we were going to have another baby, but we did. Um, and our farm is growing quite a bit. We've got so much going on over here, which is really quite exciting. Um, this is something that, you know, will be our livelihood for a long time. And it's also, you know, it's the family farm. This will be with our family for generations, so really exciting thank you so much for watching i hope that you have enjoyed this episode if you've got any other thoughts or ideas on things that you'd like to see me do with this decades challenge please let me know or if you've got anything else you'd like to see me do on my channel please leave a note in the comments down below give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing to my channel and i'll talk with you guys next time thanks so much y'all bye